broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Good morning and welcome to a Half 8 Let It Begin Tuesday, July 12th, 2022 edition. You know, I was walking Cody this morning and I was walking down familiar streets that I grew up on um, and it just got me thinking how life was just so much simpler you know when we were younger when we were young teenagers young adults and you know you get older you get more responsibilities Um, you get new additions to your life to your family you become a father a parent and you take on new careers new movements new challenges but you can't help but wonder and think back of how simply simply put actually simpler life was when we were younger that's what I'm going to talk to you about today have faith let it begin Tuesday, throwback edition. Let's go back in time. Starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, oh, amazing. Just those <laughs> <laughs> Noah. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Tuesday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. I'm hoping that all of you have slept beautifully and are waking up this morning and saying, okay, let's take on the world. As I was stating in the beginning, uh, opening monologue, I was talking about how, you know, it was interesting to me uh, when I was walking up and down streets um, with my dog Cody uh, that some of the areas that I, you know, now reside in as a homeowner, um, I used to drive up and down the street with my friends as we dropped each other off from school. And it just got me thinking about the past times. And. I want to share with you how crazy this and funny and small this world really is. I went to a local uh, supermarket after work and I saw somebody that I haven't seen in over 20 years. And uh, she was with her daughter and uh, I don't want to give out her name because I didn't ask her permission. Um, But we, you know, we we saw each other and it it was cool to see how each other was doing and I asked, each other, I asked about each other's families and and it was kind of you know fun to just take a few minutes and look back and you know you look at one you look at each other and I think I'm sure she looked at me and said okay he's he's changed and um, I looked at her and I said my god you haven't changed a bit you look the same you haven't even aged um, but it was cool it was really cool to see um, the growth you know on both of our parts and um, as you know as I left I went home and I, then my cell phone rang and um, a former colleague that I used to work with at my job who had left uh, about two years ago, maybe three years ago, says to me, did you just run into a girl at a supermarket? And I said, yes. And she says, how crazy is this world? He says, I'm dating her. I said, oh my gosh, that is awesome. And it was awesome because here are two people that I uh, never knew that never knew that they knew me uh, but with one exchange was able to uh, you know you reunite somebody so you know this morning as I was waking up and I was thinking about that phone call and just thinking about everything that's happened in the last month or so and especially in the last 24 hours um, it just put me in a different mindset um you know, we, I think we all say this word a lot, or this phrase, that life is too short. And that, and then we've heard how fast, you know, life can be. And 
You know, you look at your children and, and they're growing up so fast. It's all true. It really is. Some of us right now are thinking, "Can you ain't kidding, Angel. Blink, and here I am. I'm retired. Or blink, here I am, Angel. I've got kids. And blink, Angel, I got gray hair. Or Angel, blink, I, I, I never thought I'd be where I am today. Some of us, you know, remember the old times, the old days. I think all this started because I watched uh, a couple of throwback movies. I watched Breakfast Club, which is way ahead of its time. Um, and it just got me thinking about how old I was when I watched it, where I was at that time in my life, and and where I am today. So I'm going to be doing a new series. Uh, I haven't titled it yet, but it's something along the lines of then and now. Yeah, it could be then and now. It's not bad a title. And before I kind of go off, I kind of went off on a little, uh, you know, a uh, shortcut there, a detour, and I apologize. I went off topic. But um, I just find it fascinating where we have come as a, as a person um, and how simpler life was when we were younger. I remember uh, growing up in, you know, summer vacation, since we're in the summertime, we'll talk about summer vacation. I just remember waking up and just not knowing that what I could do. I mean, I could do anything at any point in time. It was just a question of what, what could we do? What are we going to do today? I mean, if the weather was great, awesome. We're going outside. We're playing some, uh, some baseball. I would say wiffle ball, but it wasn't a wiffle ball. We used the tennis ball and those yellow uh, bats that we taped up with electrical tape. I mean, we did so much as we were kids. And of course, as you get a little older, you start playing video games and you start going to the mall and you start hanging out with girls and, you know, or, but it's, I could sit here and for me to point out certain parts of my life. I know many of you are thinking about points of your life. So let me put it this way. When when I talk about your past or our past, what is the first thing that pops up in your mind? What time period are you in? For me, I constantly go back to around 1987, 88. And why I can say a specific date is because I just remember being so happy I mean I was always told that I was a happy guy a happy kid I remember just being very happy throughout my childhood throughout my teenage years I would say that my first times where I felt the most happy was during the holidays or during celebrations like yesterday, you know, my niece's birthday, Isabella, she turned 15 years old. And just to just to be in her presence, um, or my other niece, Ariana, you know, or, or any of my nieces and nephew, it, it, it brings back the joys of being young. I know I'm rambling and I apologize, but this is all the stuff that just was going in my mind and... I said, you know, I'm just going to share. I'm just going to share my thoughts. And, um, and you know, of course, when you think of the good times, you have to think of the bad times, right? You don't have to, but you kind of can't help it. You can't help it, right? Because sometimes with the good, there's some bad. We're not going to get into the ugly, by the way. Just the good and the bad. You know, rekindle, rekindling people, you know, friendships and people that I haven't spoke to in 20 years. I remember the things I did when I was in those ages. I also remember the things I did that I regret and the people that I hurt. Because let's face facts, at one point or another, we've hurt people. We've, we never meant to do it. Sometimes they were unintentional. And sometimes in the moment they were intentional, but deep down inside they weren't. And that's another part, you know, that I wanted to talk about later this week. 
is how often we can relate to being hurt and hurting others and how to overcome that um, that feeling of of uncertainty meaning whether or not you know if you've been forgiven or if you have forgiven that person it's pretty deep when you think that way so let me, let me end this on a positive note growing up as a child we all can remember the greatest moments our fun moments our fun times hopefully many of you have had good moments when you were a children when you were a child let's embrace those good moments right at this moment allow yourself to close your eyes and think back when you were young whether it was a moment when you were having ice cream outside with your friends whether it was playing hide and go seek maybe a manhunt kick the can stick ball maybe it was the first time you rode your bike maybe it was the first time you you had your bike think back of all those fun memories and channel your inner childhood and know that that person truly has never left you and those feelings have never gone away but maybe it's time that we revisit them maybe it's time that we think about the good times and smile and remember that God has always been there with us from the beginning to the middle and eventually to the end. You see, God works in mysterious ways. And he puts people in the right place at the right time. It's not an accident. God allows us to use our minds and channel our pasts sometimes to just bring ourselves back some hope. I hope that today's thought down memory lane will enable you to think about all that we have done together and all that we continue to do and inspire to be each and every single day. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Love you guys. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts. Because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress... <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.